the Joe Rogan experience. What do you think about all this UAP, UFO stuff? Oh, oh shit. You know, I don't know. It's something. It's something. I don't know what it is. Some of it is like, some people theorize it's like plasma technologies, but they're like, they're getting physical signatures on it. They're, you know, you're getting like the, all the radar return signatures and you're getting like infrared, you know, I don't, I don't fucking know, man. I mean, it's really blows me away. I keep, cause I can't say, I can't say for sure. Like I believe that, that other life forms exist. Um, I also believe I just don't know if it's like, it doesn't make any sense why they're like, let's just hang out, never show ourselves and just do like really cool tricky stuff and have people get a bunch of blurry images of it that we can never fucking see. Yeah. That's, that's the weird thing. But I don't know what it is, man. I mean, it's either natural phenomenon or it's something that's been here a long time um, or they're probes uh, from that are triggered by a certain, I don't know, technological ex escalation in human society or they're somehow ours, but that doesn't make any sense either. I don't know, man. I mean, I've seen them. I've seen I've seen UFOs, but you I've, have? I've talked, I, yeah, I, th I might have mentioned it on the show before, but I've seen like the classic like three glowing spheres in the distance, kind of moving along, and like a searchlight turning on or a spotlight turning on, and turning off, and then like gliding with no noise in a canyon. I've I've seen that, but and that was awe inspiring. But you know, some of the footage that you see, you're like, that is. What is that? It just went into the ocean. It just mm. went into the ocean at the same, it's still traveling at the same rate that it was traveling in the air. And they're, they're recording it. So it's either like a huge hoax, which doesn't make any sense because people talk. Or they're, I don't know, man. Or it's like interdimensional shit. Mm. It's uh, uh, maybe if we are in a simulation, there are like glitches in the simulation. You know, like there's like other things bleeding through and like we're seeing things that don't have any um that don't that don't um adhere to the laws of physics because they aren't really in our physical realm in a way i don't i don't really know because I, I just it, it really it baffles me and then also when the government starts releasing stuff and then you got a guy going around like well you know i've been cleared by the you know whatever the cia or whatever to be able to talk about this and all this stuff like you've been cleared to talk about stuff that you're supposed to not be talking about is a weird that's weird and then i'm like is it propaganda? Is it like, I don't know, man. It's it's a it's a tough one because I grew up like I love UFOs. Like I grew up Project Blue Book, watched the series, loved aliens. Used to sit in my backyard looking up at the stars, hoping that I would see an alien one day. And then I did see not aliens, but I saw U UAPs or UFOs. Where were you when you saw that? I was in Montana. I was like probably seventeen. Yeah. And uh, it was we were camping and uh, at, at night, and then we decided to to climb a butte in the middle of the night. So we were crossing a big cattle field, and then I was walking, and two friends were ahead of me, and I kind of just looked to my right, stopped, looked to my right, and I just saw these in the distance. I don't know how far it would be, but like you know, they looked like about that big from my perspective. So down a ways and there were three of them it wasn't one object because they changed they would change distance from each other and change elevation a little bit really low and then at s some point sometimes it would just stop and you'd see a little beam turn on turn off and then it would start to move again it was really really weird i had two friends i i kept looking at them. i was like come here because i didn't want to not look and then look back and then they weren't there type of movie shit but my friends came back and they looked down and they they described. I didn't even tell them what I was looking at. I said, "Tell me what you see." They described what I was seeing. I don't know what it was. Wow! But I've heard other stories about three lights, um, same kind of shit. I, I, when I'm watching like UFO whatever documentary stuff, it give me chills because I'm like, I've seen that. Whatever that is, I've mm. seen that. So I don't know. I don't know, man. It's like I go. My mind goes all over the place, but there's no definitive. No, because no one's, you know, it's like unless they land and you're like, oh, right. there it is. Or we see not the Mexico City alien. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> obviously a joke. Um, not a joke, but whatever a it was. Hoax. A hoax. Yeah. Like, unless we get something where it's like, oh, shit, what is that? What is this metal? Or, you know, the scientists saying that they found a piece of a, a an alien ship at the bottom of the ocean because mm -hmm. it's material they can't identify. Um, I don't know. It's it's weird. I'm excited about it. I think it's kind of interesting, and I'm hopeful. But it's almost like the more information that gets released, the more I'm like, I don't know what to think. I'm exactly where you are. Yeah. But I I 
think more than likely that a lot of what we're seeing, a lot of these people are seeing, yeah. is some sort of top secret probe. Mm. With some sort of super sophisticated propulsion system that doesn't rely on a combustion engine. Some completely new style of propulsion system that they've been working on. They've been working on gravity propulsion systems since the 1950s. True. They've been at least theorizing these things. And the, the possibility that someone has come up with something in a drone form mm -hmm. that they can pilot like that makes the most sense to me because... They keep spotting these things in areas where the military practices. They keep spotting these things True. off the coast of San Diego, off the East Coast, where they have these these uh, restricted areas. That's where they're seeing these things. Like it just makes sense that that would be where they would practice these things. But what's weird about it is that you know, like there was that famous UFO crossing incident over the, the northern all the uh, states of going from I think Seattle or Washington all the way Idaho, Montana, North Dakota. They were chasing the squadron of unidentified flying objects in this? the 50s the 50s 50s yeah so that's the one thing that cause right. you, you do hear about sightings like even in the 1800s uh -huh. you know 1700s that's the weird thing right that's the that's the thing where i'm like well if it's true but i mean in the 50s i mean there's like shots of it there's people took photographs of mm -hmm. these like squadron of glowing yeah discs and they were kept and they were going so fast that jets couldn't keep up with them so they had to scramble jets at the next base and they mm -hmm. Our baseball team is called, are called the Voyagers, based off of that incident. Really? Yeah. So I mean, in Great Falls, but like, I don't know. That that's the weird thing about it. I mean, I do. I agree with you. I think there is some kind of like propulsion system, and that you know is able to like change on a dime, and like doesn't necessarily get affected in the way that normal. So there's probably multiple things going on simultaneously. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I I do not doubt that we've been visited. If there is intelligent life. Yeah that's capable of coming here from somewhere else, of course they would. I mean, well. That's the place you would go. I, I, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like, it seems like, in a way, I just feel like the Earth is kind of like a, a, a terrarium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, it's like they're just like, let's do a t pilot program here, throw some seeds down yeah, there, sure. monitor it, see how it goes. Certainly could be. I mean, some people think the moon is a spaceship. Well, those people might be dumb. Well, but they there is some there's some. Well, are you familiar with the Y Files? You know those guys, that guy. Y Files. The Y Files. So it's, it's a YouTube channel. This dude, he he's, he's he he basically just re he recounts stories of paranormal, um, whether it's uh, you know uh, occult stuff, spiritual stuff, but uh, not spiritual stuff, but it's like ghost stuff or aliens, um, or interdimensional travel, that type of stuff. And then he talks, he tells the story and kind of reenacts it. And then at the end, he kind of debunks it or tries to debunk it. But he seems to be pretty impartial. But he was talking about how like when they landed on the moon, they did, they they basically did seismic tests and the reverberance, there was a reverberance that would indicate that it's possibly hollow. And it's it does sound like a far-fetched thing, but there there is a lot of, there's some kind of interesting things there. Again, I'm not like a firm believer in it, but it, but if you think of it in a fantastical way, like what if that was a spaceship that just like idle, you know, just they just stopped that spaceship, did some experiments on Earth or whatever, and just left the spaceship there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm dumb. Hi guys, how are you? <laughs> that one seems so stupid. I know, but it's it's fun to look into.